common pathway of coagulation starts when we have the product of extrinsic pathway or intrinsic pathway. Recall that both extrinsic pathway and intrinsic pathway give us the same product, which would be prothrombinase. And in two separate videos, I explain extrinsic and intrinsic pathway individually if you are interested to learn about them. Now that we have prothrombinase molecule, what it does, it starts a pathway that is called common pathway. The reason we say common pathway because it doesn't really matter if we get prothrombinase through extrinsic or if we get it through intrinsic pathway. What happens next is the same. Prothrombinase inside the bloodstream targets a plasma protein which happens to be an inactive enzyme and is called prothrombin. Recall plasma proteins are built by liver cells. Prothrombinase at the presence of calcium ion clotting factor 4 activates prothrombin and the active enzyme is called thrombin. This is a very important enzyme with many functions that in a separate video I summarize some of the important functions of thrombin. But for now, let's focus on a few of the effects of thrombin. Thrombin, at the presence of calcium ion again, converts fibrinogen, which is a plasma protein built by liver cells, into fibrin. The difference between fibrinogen and fibrin is that fibrinogen is soluble. So when we have fibrinogen, blood is liquid. However, fibrin is insoluble. So when fibrinogen turns into fibrin, that's basically formation of the blood clot. And these fibrin molecules start laying down in the area that the wall of the blood vessel is damaged. Please keep in mind at this point of time, we have plated plug blocking this area, but plated plug is not a very strong barrier. We need a network of fibrin molecules to basically block this area and completely close up this section. So bleeding will be stopped. However, we have a problem because when the fibrin molecules form, they are not strong, they're loose, they're unstable. So what thrombin does, thrombin activates clotting factor 13, which is called fibrin stabilizing factor. Where do we get fibrin stabilizing factor, factor 13? We have two sources. We have some of this clotting factor 13 in the blood plasma, and also we get some from active platelets. Please keep in mind, that what we find in plasma, most solute in plasma, basically the plasma proteins, are built by liver cells. So these are two sources of fibrin stabilizing factor, and when thrombin activates this factor, then active fibrin stabilizing factor is going to change those loose and weak fibrin molecules into strong and stable fibrin. And as I mentioned, this strong and stable fibrins are going to form a network which would be the foundation of the blood clot. Basically, when blood is pushed to leave, the cells get stuck in this network and eventually the blood clot is going to lose the extra uh, plasma that it has and completely becomes solid. So. This would be a short summary of what happens in common pathway. As you can see, it starts when we have prothrombinase and it ends when we have those fibrin molecules that we are looking for.